So I ripped Zeb away from his framing job that he's been working on in the addition because I'm at a point where if he doesn't help me, I can't finish ship lapping. So we need to insulate this wall. This is the bathroom wall. The reason we're insulating isn't because it's cold. It's because we don't want to hear the toots if someone's had some spicy Mexican there, food. There's also a fan in there, but this is the half bath. The dining room is just the other side of here. It's all kind of one big space. So we're, Zeb's going to be insulating this. Then we're actually going to build a false wall that comes out to the edge over here of the, what is this? That's the fridge. Freezer over here to the edge of the fridge and freezer. So that way when you walk in, you don't see like ginormous fridge and freezer. So we'll ship left over to there and it'll just be ship left on both sides. I'm working with fiberglass insulation. Normally I would have long sleeve shirt on, but it's about a hundred degrees outside. And I'm just gonna go with these long gloves to keep the fiberglass off my skin. And I've also got this respirator on. An N95 mask would probably be all right. You just wanna keep those fibers out of your lungs. This mask is probably a little bit overkill, but it's what I've got. N95s, as you know, are a little tough to get a hold of right now. So we got this wall up. We're probably going to sand this and do board and batten where we don't do shiplap, but I need to cut an access to the front of the eaves. So. Tell me how much you love this remaining original wall here. You know what? I just love it so much. Every uh, two boards I remeasure and see how much the <laughs> measurement has changed. You surely can't. You really can't cut all the boards at once. It looks like it's straight from here. Yeah, it's fine. The biggest thing is I just make sure it's lined up in the corner. We'll put cord around, we'll trim out the door. A lot of people won't even notice that it exists. So I used to just measure every piece of shiplap, but now I just kind of eyeball it because when you try to measure it, you gotta give it up. This is, this is Jamie's solution for where the thermostat goes, where that that's what that blue box is for. She did not want to see it in any of her pictures, so we hid it in this very far corner. Well, because that's the buffet over there, I'm gonna decorate that every season, and then I'm gonna have to edit that out of every photo. So probably not the best spot for it, but it's blurred. My argument is that every single home in the United States has a thermostat. If you don't, you're living your best cabin life. You know what? It's fine. Also of note, that thermostat is only for like this main living area here. I mean, it controls the basement too, but the basement stays pretty cool or warm depending on what season it is. So we'll just leave that as is and open the vents down there as needed. Watch out for the mess. This is all going away. We got garage doors today so I can move all my tools out to the garage soonish. Timing for days. It's all right. Once it's done, it'll be done and it'll be here for another hundred years, right? Well, you have, oops, <laughs> I don't want to paint that. You either have to use shellac based primer or self DIY salvation solution that will help the knots. The nice thing about the salvation solution is you don't have to worry about the stink and it cleans up. The shellac based primer is a mess and it stinks. I'm not going to do the bottom because that's going to have baseboard. Care if that's primed. I will paint all the wood. You always want to paint all the wood, even if it's being covered up by trim, because it keeps it from swelling and just seals it in. At least that's what my dad says. I don't know if that's true. Hey, your dad knows a lot of old tricks. My dad's like, make sure you get all that wood painted, even if it's behind stuff, you paint it because it'll keep it protected. I'm like, I always do. Painting wood was good. I've got to cut around this beam. 
And I'm going to cut a little large. Two reasons. We're going to trim it out around the beams to cover up all these ties and the nails and things. And I don't want to have to mess with those nails. So you see this spot here? Jamie reminded me as I was cutting it out that we're not continuing the shiplap over her big beam that she loves. Or well, doesn't love. love her beam that she learned to love. I had to have it. But I needed, I decided to leave a little leg on it there so that I can do the trim and then I'll just do some more trim up along this one side and then that'll cover that up real nice. So this area is the next thing we're trying to make a decision on. We haven't decided if we're gonna do like cabinetry up here or what, but we've got it kind of boxed in the fridge and freezer. They do make like this kit that boxes them in, but you know us, we're not into kits. So we'll either put a vent up here and some cabinets. I don't know. I was thinking like maybe like a small little trim around the top of them so that they look like they're built in, but then maybe do some open shelving so Should you could- open, do like a bunch of like antique yeah, that there? Yeah, that way it goes open to the top. Because honestly, in our existing kitchen, that's where stuff goes to die. But you guys weigh in, comment below. Would you leave it open for Crocs or would you close it up for storage? Well, and you could even do like some fun tall like greenery trees or something up there, you know, some get real creative trees. with it. You don't know me at all. Like olive trees like you like to do. Um, Those olive topiaries, what are they called? I'm just- I'm grasping for straws here, guys. Give us some ideas. Crocs. Well, we're waiting for primer to dry. I'm always doing tag team projects. So I'm also working on this vanity that we started on Waste Not Wednesday. I'm gonna be sanding it. And then as soon as I'm done with that, we'll just give it some sealer and we'll be good to go. We are to that point where we start applying sealer. I did go ahead and use the self DIY Salvation Solution Primer because we had bleed through. Salvation Solution is worth its weight in gold because if you are going to get bleed through, it always happens when you seal. So I'm glad that we did wind up adding some primer. I'll put two coats on the whole base of this. I will do four coats on the top of this and then we'll let it sit. This will be nice and cured up because we're not moving in for another month and a half. And if we ever get any damage to the top, we can always just sand it, touch it up, paint it and put some more sealer. It is finished. All right, now is the moment of truth. Does it fit? Does the vanity fit? Now I know it looks a little wonky, but it's because the sink is dirty and it will look much better with a very nice faucet. Okay, so this drawer doesn't have the knobs on it yet, so I'm gonna grab it from the back and I still have to put the runner there, but this is how I modified this drawer, just cut it down about seven inches so that I can put the plumbing in on the sink and it doesn't hit the dish. But that's still a pretty good sized drawer there. And you can't tell that I cut it down. So this one I just got marked. I'm gonna cut it with the jigsaw right across there and glue it back together. Where'd you get that big old bruise at on your finger? Bruise? On your thumb. That's a callus. No, other thumb. Oh, I smashed it weeks ago. Ouch. Oh, so we're reusing the existing side. Yep. That's like next level carpentry right there. Oh. It's called Waste Not Wednesday on a Friday afternoon. Almost Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Now, we nail it all back together. You need your nail gun? We'll probably have to mend the second drawer down too once we get to the plumbing. No, mm, I'll run it out the back. That, that pipe comes so close to, oh, cause that runner's gonna go, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Just don't staple your finger. I'm not into that. 
I'm not that either. <laughs> I'm not about that life. We'll just putty the front. Hey, if the people that own this when it was made actually had indoor plumbing, I think they would approve of our modifications. Once I get the runner in, that'll go in and out real nice and easy. I like it. Don't worry about overspray getting on the door because we have to repaint that door anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and get it sprayed. So for right now, it's work in progress. A little here, a little there. We do some framing, we work in here. We'll have trusses July 2nd, so that'll go up on there and we'll get the roof done. Well, our plan is to continue to work in the old part of the house and just make sure that we're ready for trusses by July 2nd. If we can do that and have everything done in here before that, then we'll be well on our way to moving in. That's, that's a lot of sleepless nights. Well on our way to moving in by the end of July. If you're interested in the paint and products that we use on our furniture and in our DIYs, visit jamierayvintage.com. If you're interested in clothes, and our home decor, visit jamierayvintagehome.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. <laughs>